there is a lot of talk about failure and how to handle failure there are a lot of motivational comments about it people talk about their lives famous people uh people we don't know bumper stickers comments on instagram linkedin facebook it's full of people talking about failure and it all sounds very inspirational it's all very like a aha moment um you know what is that you know failure is an opportunity opportunity to do things again uh, unless you experience failure you can't kind of experience success um i see that but again that's not enough for me um it's impossible to not look at failure as a weakness uh i haven't come across too many people in my life who look at failure as you know oh wow I, you know i had a failure this is an opportunity i'm loving it no one loves failure everyone hates failure and i think it's just about masking that i don't know what these bumper stickers are about what these motivational comments are about but failure sucks for every single person uh, no one looks forward to this aspect uh same with me and this can be anything work personal personal development uh being a parent being a friend uh being a boss any aspect of your life uh perhaps the focus needs to be on celebrating success instead i think about that um what what happens you're trying to you know you're trying to get something done uh you have a project uh and you in 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 order to get to that project you know you have you know you get you know you, for example if you have a showroom you're opening up a showroom you sign your lease for the showroom you set up your contractors for the showroom your goal your goal is to get that showroom up and running um so you can sell these fabulous uh, clothing items you have a lot of times we just focus on that on that end goal and when we re- when we reach these milestones um these significant milestones or even smaller milestones we recognize it and then we move on to the next it's like we're soldiers you know onward march you know from one to the other to the third to the fourth we don't we don't spend enough time celebrating and really kind of getting the juice out of that success uh when I was growing up it was about i think i think the focus was more on not failing and not really enjoying succeeding there's nothing wrong in enjoying your success you know if you if you want to have a beer uh have a beer if you want to spend a day like really basking in that success do that um at least that's what i've started telling myself but i'm not having that many beers <laughs> i'm sitting at home um but that's the idea and i think what that does is when you start really paying importance to the success could be a hard won success it starts building up your faith to do more you know start giving you that energy in your mid game you started off strong uh, you're racing through and then somewhere around the middle of your project or whatever you're doing you start kind of feeling a little bit of fatigue um and at that point you need a lot of faith i think to help you get to the finish line the middle game is the most difficult part of a project because you don't see the starting point you don't see the ending point you're, you're basically in the middle of the ocean on your own and i think at that point this faith can really help you power up and just keep pushing ahead i don't do this at all and i've started seeing this pattern in my life where i start doing things which are which i know are important to me i believe in them i value them i'm training myself up to develop the right behavior and capabilities i can identify myself with that particular thing i'm doing and yet uh, i just kind of fizzle out and i think uh, and it just builds up this frustration inside you like why couldn't i do this you know 10 or 2 weeks out um, you know when you've kind of given up you're like oh man if i had continued doing this uh two weeks now i would have been this much further ahead um and it kind of creates this negative narrative in your mind where you, you might start thinking knowingly or unknowingly that you just can't get things done 
um, that maybe you're just not meant for that. Maybe it's not the right thing for you. But in fact, it could be the perfect thing that you're doing for yourself. But you just haven't given yourself that juice to move forward. Um, again, it's not about just rationality. I'm, 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 I'm getting pretty big on the idea of just emotions and like harnessing your emotions to like actively to help you you know move ahead in your life. Um, this is something that I've been thinking about. Uh, it's early morning here. I don't know why I had this thought, but I thought I'd share.